both come out. Oh, good morning. Morning. It's Friday, the 26th of February. And it's a beautiful day out there. The sun's out again. Look, look, sun's out again. And it's supposed to stay with us throughout the weekend. Um, it's wash day. I'm going to wash uh, my bed in today. Um, so that's got to be done. And of course, it's fish and chips tonight. So uh, looking forward to it. Um, I know Ian and myself. Hey, up. What's the matter, chips? Uh, I know Ian and myself uh, always look forward to Friday. You haven't got to worry about what you're having for tea or preparing anything. So yeah, all good. So it's going to be a little bit of a work day today through the boat, a little bit of a clean and a sort out. I've uh, got stuff to do. There's me washing. So uh, I'll incorporate the walk this morning, try and put the washing on. So I've got my fingers crossed. I can get to a washing machine. Right. Even though my temperature gauge says it's 19.8 out there, I bet it's cold, so I'm putting my coat on. Beautiful. Again. <laughs> yeah, struck lucky with the washing machines, so that's good. Uh, yeah, I can get that wash now. What will it be? 45 minutes? 40 minutes? Yeah, about 10 ish. I'll go back, get the, all that lot out, and put it in the dryer. And then when it's dry, do you know what happens then? The battle starts. <laughs> Gotta make the bed. Another beautiful morning. Just had a nice chat with Barbara, another boater, and a doggy. Having a lovely walk. Yeah, this is supposed to be in for the weekend, so that'll be nice. If I can get most of the jobs done today, uh, I can free up the weekend. That'll be lovely. Perhaps sit on the back of the boat and unwind. As ever, loads of editing to do. I haven't got a vlog prepared yet, so loads of editing to do. But if you get me head down, I'll get it done. Right, brekkie now. Brecky. I'm actually in the middle of Chester city centre now. Um, I've got my shopping done. I've just been dropped off here. I've got an appointment at the solicitors and I've got to pick up some documents and do some stuff. So essential trip. So uh, yeah, it's got to be done. It's unusual to see this place so empty on a Friday. That's that done. Solicitors and bank. That's great. So uh, glad I saw me solicitor this morning. So now, back to the car. <laughs> the traffic system's changed here in Chester um, since I was last driving so uh, it's a bit strange seeing two lanes of traffic coming around that corner it always used to be one so it's really really strange be careful I don't get run over here <laughs> that's part of the old Roman wall you can see as it goes all the way around the city. Can't recommend Chester enough. I'm just heading now to the River Dee. In the summer you can't move here, but obviously no tourists allowed. But uh, this is where my lift is parked. Ian is a very intelligent man, but before I left I said, Ian, would you get me bedding out of the dryer, please, at 10 past 11? How do I do that? How do I do that? He really didn't have a clue how to do it. It was funny seeing an intelligent man struggling over a tumble dryer. But then I've got to get back here. Yeah, solicitors, stressful. Bank, stressful. Shopping, stressful. Making that bloody bed when I get back will be even more stressful. <laughs> I come out in a cold sweat. But it'll be nice tonight when I get in here. Back to Chugs.
I'm back from town. Looks like Ian had a successful mission. I've got my washing there. Oh, I've got to make that bed. I've got till tonight. <laughs> but what I've got to do is a quite a simple job that I have to do about once a week. Let me show you. Well, I suppose it's a job most of us are doing at the moment. I carry this little bottle for alcohol wash where I can squirt and wash my hands and I've got this large container, I get through quite a few of these and that's in the bathroom and I just keep topping it up out of that <laughs> just same as buying some more but uh, obviously everybody now is getting through quite a lot of this uh, alcohol wash but uh, it's best to be safe best to be safe let's see if we can end this horrible virus or help anyway I'd hate to think I've caused somebody to get it. Oh well, I'll keep pumping. <laughs> well, when I was out, I know I'm watching the pennies. It was reduced, a little pack of chicken. Uh, let me mute this telly. I leave the telly on for them when I go out. There you go, just so they don't feel alone. Come on, move over, Chip, come on. Let's give them some chicken. Yeah, it was reduced, don't worry. I don't go wasting money on fresh meat with them every time I go shopping. It's okay, it's still in date. And the doggies just love chicken. You love chicken, don't you? Look, he's shaking. Can you see Dale's shaking? But they'll go at this like a pair of wolves. Well, Dale will go at it like a wolf. And Chip goes at it like a lady. There's Dale, he would just eat it whole like a seal, Dale would. But Chip takes his little chunks and has a nibble. There we go. There you go. It's good boys. Do you want another piece? Do you want another piece? Okay. Hold on. Dad should have put his glasses on because I can't really see what I'm doing, can I? There we go. There's two pieces. You're not having it all today. No way. Because you've only got little bellies. And then I'm going to have my dinner. Another bowl of soup. <laughs> A bowl of soup. And then take these for their afternoon little trot. Come on, Chip. There we go. And of course, wash my hands. Dale's trying to take my fingers with the chicken, I think. <laughs> there. No more. Rest for laughter. It's the same old, same old. There's Gary going for the leads again. There's Gary taking the dogs for a walk again. Well, that's what it is. Uh, Dale, come on, come on. Dale didn't go to the toilet, unfortunately. So uh, I'm going to take them out for another trot this afternoon, but it's not unpleasant out there anyway, is it? Uh, before we get our fish and chips this evening, but I've just had a telephone call off Amy. Oh dear, one of the dogs has been sick, I've just noticed. Oh dear. Um, yeah, well, I've just had a message off uh, Amy that um, there's an appointment for the optometrist for my glasses come through. So at least that's a bit of good news. Um, yeah. <laughs> I've got to make an appointment, so, uh, well, excuse me. I've got sick to clean up. That was good fun, wasn't it? Uh, it's all cleaned up now. Smelling nice. Uh, got some detergent on it. It was on the corner there. Got some detergent on it and, uh, and Febrezed it and cleaned it all up, so... All is good, and the dogs are fine. Please don't worry there. That's it. They're running around the boat. They were running around the boat. <laughs> Uh, they're running around the boat. They're fine. Right, let's get these leads on them and get them outside. Here. Got a new little fence, look, for a footpath there. For the trolley to get to our shopping trolley through. This is the shopping trolley. And when people park too close, you can't get the shopping trolley through. That's good. I wonder how long it'll be before somebody backs into it. Train! Believe it or not, it's about... What is it? What's the time? It's 25 to 5, just gone. And the temperature's dropping. Clear skies, you see. So it goes really cold at night. It was freezing first thing this morning. And then when the sun rose, the temperatures go up. So, yeah. Daily Whaley didn't go to the toilet, so... <sighs> it's another walk. It's quite nice, though, to get out. But, uh, yeah, that's good news about my appointment at the optometrist. It means, well, we can have a look at these special glasses. Uh, get my eyes and try. I need different prescriptions for each eye. 
and then I've told you before that they put these lenses on it's like a sticker that goes on over the top you don't actually see them but it's like these uh, bean benders you put on cars if we have to drive them abroad here in Great Britain we have to go over to France and it changes the beam on your car well that will cure my double vision it's like if you go cross-eyed you know when you used to when you, you were a kid I'm a bit like that so I see two or three of everything um, it's just gonna be fantastic to just see one of everything and, and not get headaches all the time and and have things in focus I just can't imagine what it would be like now um, I really can't imagine what it would be like it'd be heaven I've been going now for a good couple of years now like this struggling through and it's become a way of life but there are days it gets worse uh, it's very tricky and hopefully who knows who knows I may get my license back and be able to drive again get myself a little car and be able to get out there again that would make life a lot more bearable <sighs> so I'm gonna make an appointment on Monday there's another train Woo -hoo. <laughs> Yeah, I'll make an appointment on Monday and then we'll go from there. Yeah, who knows? Perhaps life's turning a corner for me again. <laughs> you never know, do you? Perhaps life's turning that corner again. That'll be brilliant. Oh. Well, the dogs are fine. Dale isn't going to the toilet, so he's in for a long night. <laughs> right, get back and get my fish and chips. Well, as it turns out, I got it wrong. It was Chip that needed the toilet. Um, and he went. God bless him. And look at this. You can't see it with the sun. My bed's all made. Yeah, Ian, give me a hand. <laughs> So no swearing, he made it look very, very easy. Cheers, mate. <laughs> Ooh, that looks promising. Yep, the sun is definitely out. Good morning. Uh, that's it. Saturday, the 27th of February. The sun's out, I'm all showered and done. Let's have a look at these little fellas. I've had a couple of cups of coffee, but I haven't been out here yet. Oh, well, Daily Whaley was actually sleeping here when I went to bed, so they're both in their little igloo. Hello, my little man. Hello. Oh, blimey, it's like an oven in there. Good morning, little fellas. Good morning. <laughs> Oh, today is going to be a bit of a clean up day. I've just noticed the sun's coming straight through the bow doors and shining up against where I store my dining room table. And I'm not going to show you because I'm very embarrassed. I hoover, I do, virtually every other day. And I try and keep it clean. I've just noticed so many crumbs and things that my hoover didn't pick up. So um, embarrassing. So, uh, yeah. It's going to be, a, <laughs> the best I can, a bit of a clean-up day today. How beautiful is that? Beautiful. Blinding sun this morning. It's lovely. really is beautiful morning stunning morning I never checked the temperature this morning oh I don't want to spend all day in the boat cleaning but I definitely need to go get those bits up that's so embarrassing it's a good job no one's coming on the boat to see it isn't it <laughs> uh, can't believe I've missed those sometimes the Sun really helps me when it comes through the window helps show things Helps me to see the things. 
lovely chat oh, there with Dave. Chip's going to loot. And his dog Pepper? Well, his dog Pepper didn't have a chat, obviously. Dave did. The two dogs had uh, a toilet moment together, so that was good. One poo bag. Loads of little poos. How lovely is that? This looks gorgeous. You can see the dew just glistening on the top of the grass. That'll soon dry with this sun. We're supposed to have the same, from what I've heard, next week as well, so... It's all good, isn't it? I just love that. Look at that. Lovely. There's me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Come on, boys. Going around this way now. Yeah, come on. There's Batman again. Dinner, 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 bat dog. <laughs> oh, got two Batman. Oh, Batman and Robin. <laughs> Sorry, I won't be very clear. The sun's behind me, but yeah, Dave and Malcolm are going to be taking their boats. They were on about going out tomorrow and staying out on the cut for the rest of the lockdown. They've had enough of being in the marina and, of course, the expense. The same as Ian and myself and Steve when he comes back blessed. But they can go, so they're going. Uh, so they may be going out today. be strange to look out of my windows and uh, not see Malcolm's boat there. It'll be weird. Yeah. Back on the boat. So I'm just going to have my breakfast first and then start my little chores. Definitely got to hoover that mess up. So embarrassing. Uh, but it's lovely out there and the smell of my soup is out there. Which was strange. But John and Angela are having a go at my broccoli, cauliflower and Stilton soup. So uh, they're having a go. So they're going to let me know later what they think of it. Um, so that's good. Um, but yeah, definitely breakfast first. Well, that's it. Um, I've had my breakfast. I've got rid of those annoying crumbs. Well, those very embarrassing crumbs. It's a good job, as I say. We're not allowed anybody on our boats. That would have been embarrassing. Um, right. I'm going to go and scrub my ring. There it is. It's filthy. looks much better. I'm glad I've done that. It's been a funny day, a busy day. I've done loads of chores to see another boat going out there because it's the end of the month. A lot of people don't want to pay the mooring fees or can't afford the mooring fees. fees. Uh, and you'll notice there's a big gap there where Malcolm and Dave were. Uh, I'm afraid they've gone out as well. So uh, I've greased this top hatch. So this is flowing nice and free. Fed up. Uh, fill the water up and everything so I'm just gonna have a, a sit on the back deck now and relax in this beautiful sunshine it's gorgeous this is like a summer's day it's absolutely wonderful just had some nice dinner outside nice tuna sandwich and uh, tuna and onion and salad cream sandwich and a packet of crisps lovely and uh, I believe Debbie and Paul well Paul is making uh, in, uh, an Indian for Ian and I tonight, so he's going to drop a nice biryani off, so I'm looking forward to trying that. It's anything like the last one Paul made, it was amazing. So that'll be lovely. Come on you two. Oh, everyone's out doing their jobs. Ian alone, is uh, he's got a project on the front of his boat. I suppose all will be revealed by Ian in, in future vlogs. Uh, yeah. It's nice. Well, it uh, really is a glorious afternoon. I'm just looking at the roof. If I have a nice day tomorrow, I think I'm going to scrub the roof of Chugs tomorrow. Get that nice and clean, but just done a live on Facebook, which was good. Good crowd. Beautiful place with the sun. I'm going to sit and 
Finish me pink gin. See you later. Well, it's six o'clock in the evening after an absolutely glorious day. I've been sitting here. I'm getting watched. Look at this. Because I'm talking, I'm getting watched. Can I have kissed? Thank you. Um, yeah, it's six o'clock. It's an absolutely still night out there. I don't know whether you can see. It is actually getting dark now. Um, I've had to put the heating on. It's such a clear sky. I've had to put the heating on. It's getting very, very cold. In fact, outside, it's well, it's down to 11 degrees, but after, after it being a very, very warm day, um, it does feel very cold and sat on the boat here. Uh, it was getting very cold indeed. So I'm sitting here, I've had a message off Debbie that uh, luncheon shall be served after six. So uh, I'm expecting a knock on the back of the boat at any second and I am looking forward to it. Having tasted Paul's curry in the past, I know what's coming and I'm pretty sure it's going to be amazing as he has actually, or they have actually, uh, been to India to learn how to do this cooking. My mouth's watering there. I'm looking forward to it. Well, Paul has just brought it round now. I don't know what this is, I've got to ask. But I've just tried a bit on a fork and my mouth is watering. It is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, let me just try a bit. This is my first time trying this. I'm doing it with my left hand though, so bear with me. You'll be lucky if I hit my mouth, hold on. Oh, oh. Oh, I'm going to enjoy that. Oh, Paul, Debbie. Oh, that's gorgeous. Right, you can go now. I'm going to have my tea. Well, I've just messaged uh, Debbie and Paul to ask what that white stuff was. And it is called Raita or Raita. R-A-I-T-A. And it's uh, cucumber, yoghurt and onion. It was... I don't know why he's looking. You didn't get any. It was absolutely beautiful. Thanks again. Um, thanks again, guys. It was gorgeous. I'm very full now, so I'm going to finish my gin and tonic and Saturday night TV for me. See you tomorrow.